Afternoon everyone. I've come back to the lines, to Hillsy lines. Because when I was at that Moncrief gun emplacement, I was reading some blurb about it and they were saying that back in when it was built, the um, there were six of those Moncrief gun emplacements. Uh, I know of one, I'm just heading towards it now. I took it to the one the other day and there's one that's uh, on private land and the land belongs to Portsmouth Grammar School so we can't get to that one. But I've also found uh, there is one at the far end, far east of Hillsy Lines which I didn't even know existed. But I saw it on Google Earth, the typical horseshoe shape. Like I discovered the other one. So I've got to walk past one of them that I already know about. We'll have a quick look at that. But I'm gonna see if I can find this uh, find this elusive one on the east side. Remember the old expense magazine? That's one of them, there's loads. But yeah, I'll bring you back when I get closer to it. Here's the view of this one from above. Not easy to get to, because the pathway there is completely blocked. I have to come up around this way. But I think I might be able to get down this way, so let's go and have a look. been to before, I took to this one a while ago and you had the couple of blokes sitting up there smoking weed. <laughs> Obviously this one gets used a lot more than the other one. Because uh, if I scroll bring you down, someone's had a fire here and just left it all. Typical. It's a quick little look at Bastion 5 through the trees there been there before. I'll put a little thing up in the corner so you can go and visit it again. This is the narrowest pathway ever. Oh my god. Not designed again for a bloke my size. I never, I don't remember it ever being this overgrown. Just come down there and I forgot all about this room but it looks like we can actually get to it. I don't know what I'm gonna find in there. Yeah. Some sort of bunker, some description. Stops here, nothing around there. So yeah. Lots of dodgy things going on in here, probably. Yes. Right. It's interesting. Very interesting. Let's move on. I'm not quite sure what the purpose of this thing was. It could be like uh, an observation, something for obs observation. Let's go down there. Got some little holes, let's get that super duper torch in. Yeah, full of rubbish. Typical. Another one here. Oh my god. Look at all that. What a load of crap. Terrible. Some people definitely leaving a trace. Just let me get back a bit so you can get this. There you go. See, it's not a 
pillbox as such. It might just be for observation. They could observe the enemy coming in, I don't know. But yeah, all part of the rich history of Hillsy Lines. Fascinating places. Let's go back up the stairs. Well, I think I found it. The one I didn't know was here. Hmm. Look at this. Still got the gun mountain plate there as well. The others haven't got that. This is so cool. Right on the edge of this industrial estate. I think we should get down here and have a closer look. These sides, the end bit seems a lot longer than the other ones. Once you see the uh, those little alcoves. Oh yeah. I like this. I love these places. A lot higher as well, I think. I love it. Yeah. Where the gun will be mounted. It's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. If only it didn't all end up covered in graffiti. I'll tell you why, uh, I'm gasping for a coffee. And I've also got a tin of uh, chicken bolti and an arm bread, so I'm gonna have that as well. But I might set up on the top. I don't know. Could set up in there, couldn't I? <laughs> Might be a bit tight. So there's the gun emplacement there. And this is basically where Hillsy Lines now ends. Because over there is a housing estate that is known as Anchorage Park. And that you, before they built Anchorage Park, it used to be Portsmouth Airport. And uh, oh, look, there's a dog there. <laughs> yeah, it used to be Portsmouth Airport. And they demolished the far east side of Hillsy Lines to build the airport back in the 1930s, I think. So this would have carried on until it got to Langston Arbour. But yeah, Anchorage Park was built in the 80s. Yes, it used to be a great big open, well it was an airport. It was built for light aircraft, not for big aircraft. So. Yeah. But anyway, let's go back and have a look at this gun emplacement a bit more. So I'm getting peckish. Let's just have a look around here. So you wouldn't even know it was there, would you? You wouldn't even know it was there. The only thing that's given it away is that bit of concrete there going up. Like steps. You know what? I'm gonna set up here and have my bolty. What do you reckon? Good spot. I'm gonna set up there, right on the edge. I don't wanna to go too far back in case this chair collapses on me <laughs> and I end up rolling off of there. I fancy that one bit. So yeah, 
Here would be nice, I think. Like I say, the only problem with this, with Hillsy lines, is the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The A27 just over there. You can hear them all, can't you? You can hear them all. Boy races, motorbikes, cars, people in a hurry. I'm just going to get some coffee on. Got my wood burnt pot here. I do have to be very careful with this camera here. I don't want to put it on this side of me. Because you know, 20 foot drop down there. And I don't think this camera would survive. <laughs> Water's on though. Can you see it there? Yeah, gotta be careful here. Scary drop. Scary drop. Tin, chicken bolty. Lovely, lovely, lovely chicken bolty. I've got myself an arm bread that I'm gonna toast on my gas burner. How that's gonna work, I do not know. But we'll try these things. Here we go. It's always good to begin with, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> right, let's crack open this bolt. It's in a bolt. Big fan of bolties. Just leave that for a bit, and I'll sip on my tea, my coffee. This gas canister is getting a bit low, but I always carry. When I'm using gas, I always have a spare in the bag, just in case. I think I'm going to have to eat it out of here too. So I forgot to bring a bowl with me. Sorry about the noise of the A27 again. It's non stop on that road. Non stop. Get it going a bit quicker. This side, I'll walk carefully whilst looking at the camera and whilst making sure that I don't put one foot over the edge of that. So, don't, yeah, wouldn't be very good to fall down there. Had a bit of a disaster. I spilt some of me, uh, some of me curry. Damn it! Look at that. What a waste. Still managed to save most of it. Here's me naan bread. I'm gonna toast it on the gas. See how that works. It's not far off. I'm gonna do. See how this works. Just have to do it bit by bit, I think. Without burning me hand, of course. I don't think this is working very well. I think it's burning my hands more than it is cooking this. Let's 
get this back on. Properly warmed up. Yeah, I definitely think this gas canister is on its last legs. Nearly done. Mrs. Rob the Bobo, I do believe I've said before, always refers to these tin curries as dog food. But I'll refer to it as good old outdoor camping DAB food. I can't go wrong. Not much preparation, well, there's no preparation, is there? No preparation. Oh, <clears throat> I know it's that, my videos when I'm eating food, I'm always going, mmm, just trying to help myself. I think I've actually spotted a drumstick down there. Being a musician, I'm gonna have to go and take a look at that in a minute. That's all it is. I'm just gonna munch on this, finish it off. Mm. You know, Hillsy Lines has got another name locally. It's not necessarily known by the name of Hillsy Lines. It goes by the name of Fox's Forest. It's always been Fox's Forest. But probably only since it's been a forest. Because obviously when they built these lines, there was no forest here. Um, and I've said it before, all the spoil from the moat that they dug at the end edge of the city formed this these mounds where all the earth comes from so obviously when they um, abandoned these lines nature took hold reclaimed it gives it a sort of uh, charm doesn't it Military installations reclaimed by nature. There's lots of them dotted around Portsmouth. It's the first time I've ever been here. All these years. I used to come play here when I was a boy. I used to bring me catapult up here. I used to bring me air rifle up here. Bring me air pistol. Do that now. Different times, different rules. Times change. You notice times changing as you get older. <clears throat> the older you get, the more you notice the times are changing. <laughs> that was nice. 
Sand spilt that bit though. I will leave that for Mr. Fox. Brer Fox, Fox's Forest can have that. How relaxing. Cheers to you. I've now got 177 subscribers. Which I think is amazing. I can't believe that 177 people uh, are interested in what I'm doing. The videos I make. I just love the filmmaking process. I love the editing. I, I get a real buzz out of doing the editing. I love that. Yes, yeah, so that's one of the reasons why I do it. You know, keep a record as well of these places. And thank you to everyone who subscribed to me. Just now trying to push for that 200. If I can get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year, that would be amazing. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. <laughs> give me a subscription, that would be, that'd be great. And uh, give the video a thumbs up, like everyone says. Hit the notification bell, whatever that means. I suppose I'll get a notification if um, someone subscribes or other people will get a notification, won't they? I'm not too clued up on it. I'd, <coughs> I'll do absolutely nothing to, pr to promote my YouTube channel on Facebook or Instagram. All the subscribers I get is just from people finding me on YouTube, I guess. But thank you to every one of you, and to every one of you who's going to subscribe, thank you. I'm just going to finish my coffee off now. And I'm going to go down there, see if that is a drumstick. i tell you what, I don't think the camera get how far this is. That is quite a drop. Almost forgot. I don't have a cross on for Arthur's. Lucky I've still got a drop of coffee left. To wash it down with. Let's go down here, have one more look, take a few more pictures, and then we'll head back. Let's see if it was a drumstick. Yeah, it is. Let's have a look. That was the smallest drumstick I've ever seen in my life. So, one more little scan around. Left no trace except for the bit of sloppiness I spilt. And Brer Fox can have that later on. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back to Bastion 4. I'll bring you back when I get near it. See what Mrs. Rob the Rover is doing in there. Oh, 
probably expecting some sort of food. I haven't got any, I'm afraid. I have no food for you. I've eaten it. All. <coughs> diving underwater. I think they're coots and ducks obviously. Or they were ducks, I don't know. Ducklings, there's coots amongst them. <laughs> Clean up your dog shit. Good advice that. Damn good advice. Let's take a walk through this sally port. shown it to you before but never grows old. I love it. Absolutely love it. Apart from the graffiti, of course. That's the, the expense magazine there where I had my little bully beef and tin stew fry up the other day. Very nice it was too. That's what I'm going to do. Getting down there wasn't easy. <laughs> Case makes it just this way. I'll take you to it. Look at that. Over there. Leaning up against a car. It's Mrs. Rob the Rover. What's she waiting for? There you go, look. Open for takeaway. Till 4, 4.30. Shut this door. There she is, look. Mrs. Rob the Rover. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so these are all practice rooms along here. And this is where we work. Isn't it, Kerry? Right, so I'm going to leave you here, back at Bassin 4, maybe it's time for a cup of tea, or not, I don't know, but um, we'll see you next time, when we're roving about, wherever it may be, see you soon, bye.